Um, yeah, my name's Glenn Hinks. Uh, I'm one of the founding members of MMU Radio, which is Manchester Metropolitan University student radio station. Um, there was originally a student radio station in Manchester back in the 90s. Uh, it was called Storm FM and it won awards. Uh, and what it was, amazingly, it was uh, Manchester University uh, UMIST, um, which is now North Campus of University of Manchester, uh, Salford and ourselves, my Matt, joined forces. But um, it ran out of money and around about March 1998 it stopped. That Manchester, Salford, they both got stations again, but uh, when I joined in uh, 2006 there was still no radio station here. Um, so, you know, there's about 40 odd, some, some of the reason 40 odd student radio stations across the UK. And Man Met, you know, second biggest university in the country, and we didn't have a student radio station. So, when I first joined, um, Rachel Cleary and uh, Wilf Watson James had basically set up a radio society to raise money and get awareness and actually get us a radio station. Um, and we did some fundraisers and we sort of, you know, we, we were kind of trying to wear, raise awareness, but we didn't have any studio, we didn't have any equipment. We were kind of just a fundraising society and that's, that's and, and we did events, but that was pretty much all we did do. Eventually, through sort of trial and error and ringing around, I came across uh, a guy called Tony Miles, who's one of the university's technicians. And he runs a studio uh, in the basement of the Jeffrey Manton building, which was used for recording things like uh, audio tests, um, things like if you've got sort of foreign language students, things things of that nature, uh, and and also for doing publicity for the university. But when I spoke to him, he said that the studio wasn't really used all that much. It was there, but it wasn't used a lot. And uh, Tony was incredibly helpful with us. Um, he had lots of equipment you know, sort of hand-me-downs and things that had come from other places, but nonetheless, we've got mixing desks and mics and the sort of the paraphernalia we need to do to do radio shows. Uh, so, first of all, we had a studio. Um, the next problem is then, having you got a studio, how do you broadcast? Well, there's no transmitter and there's no antenna, and the university weren't prepared to sort of, you know, sort of stump up 10 or 15 or 20 grand or whatever it needed to do that. So, um, looked at sort of the internet, you know, the, the, the technology of the 21st century. Could we use that? And the university actually broadcasts live, um, they actually do broadcast um, graduation ceremonies and they stream it over the net. So we thought, well, can we use the same technology to broadcast our radio shows? Of course, the answer is yes, we can. Um, we set up a website, we bought the actual MMU radio domain name, and then from there we went about sort of uh, getting DJs together, recording shows, uh, and in September 2007, uh, we did our first broadcast over the internet uh, and after that we then went with a sort of on-demand system like you get with a lot of the TV channels you know you can listen again or whatever it is and we did the same thing because one of the dilemmas always was student radio station breakfast show when is student breakfast uh, is it one o'clock in the afternoon is it midday and we weren't sure so it's like well have whatever show you want whenever you want it you know we'll be an on-demand receptive service also meant that we could uh, avoid a lot of the restrictions that other universities had with the radio stations. So, as always, the, the sort of the next stage is to try and see if we can uh, get the university to help us out. Well, actually, the unions help us out. Uh, the unions basically having a bit of a refurbishment uh, with their second floor, uh, and we're looking into ways of whether we can be included in that refurbishment. Uh, hopefully, get a radio studio there, and who knows, maybe even get a transmitter and an aerial and broadcast FM.